Hi, Dr. Kevin Zorn from BPH Canada here to show a little bit more of the uh, the power now of the handpiece. So uh, we saw we saw before what we did to this potato and the, the precise design of our defect that we created uh, in three dimensions, which I'll show next on the larger potato. But this is the handpiece. This is where all the action happens. So single use device, uh, kind of three pieces of metal. One is the overhang that protects the 12 o'clock position of the male urethra. This is the part that goes in the bladder, so nice and round, soft tip, so you're not going to injure the bladder. There's no more salation, no activity in the bladder. We monitor that on the ultrasound. Now, this is where all the action happens. There's a small little black dot, sapphire crystal, tiny little opening, and from that, the pump situated over there is pumping out at various PSIs to biologically cavitate, remove anything in the way up to 2.4 centimeters of, of diameter. So that radius, not diameter, but radius rotating, and we can design up to 225 degrees, would oscillate. So I'm going to go on the prime mode and show you what 50% does. Then I'll bring it to 100, and I'll bring part of our potato to just to show what that thin beam of water can do in terms of speed and power. So let's give it a test. So again, here's the opening, there's the tip, and it's controlled by a robot or the motor just to show what during the case what that would look like. I can actually crank up here and just go back over here. We'll see this part come in and out. So I can simply bring that forward or backward. So during the procedure, it's pulling back and oscillating, but it starts at the tip. So I'll bring it all the way forward. And this again, we can monitor any point on ultrasound and we see that. So there it is near the tip. I'll go ahead and press the prime button and just kind of show you what that looks like. So here we go. And there's our thin beam. You can feel the power. It wants to push away. Thin, thin beam, and then it fans out. So I'll bring the potato in view. This is at 50%. And you can see it kind of ricochets. But if I go ahead and bring up the power by the power, the plus button, we'll see what happens here. And we know that we, with these thin beams of water, you can cut metal. You can cut whatever you want really quickly and precisely. And no heat. So really, there's uh, heat efficiency. You know, surgery fatigue is taken out of the equation, and anyone that really democratizes surgery skill. So there really is a technology of, you know, bringing robotics and AI together with the beauty of imaging. So we can simply just swap off, watch this here, I'll just take off a piece. And again, all done in seconds here. Obviously the robot's going to be a little more precise than I am there, but cutting a straight line here. There you go. And it's chopped it off. You can see here, no burn, no thermal damage, just a straight cut all the way through. So that's it. Just to show you what the actual beam does. It's a high pressure beam. It's a pump. We've got imaging. We can design what we want and that's it. Welcome to Aquablation and uh, we'll see what we can do on the larger potato next.